Number 12, I'm calling it double down, right? Now look, oh, you're on the live right now, Lynn. Okay, so ultimately, you have things that are working for you in your business today and in your marketing, right? And what you can do is look at what's already working for you and double down on that, okay? You sometimes, don't be afraid to, don't, right now is not a time to pull back, right now is a time to press forward, especially in what's already working, okay? Now, obviously, I'm saying my last suggestion was to learn a new platform, and then I'm saying double down on what's working. I understand there's some, and I'm not saying, you know, go put all your basket in your, your eggs into this new platform. I'm just simply saying, take 20, 30 minutes a day and actually learn a new platform and create content there and be present on that platform, okay? But you have things that are working for you really well right now. I'll give you an example. Right now, for, you know, with people that I'm working with on Retainer, it working really well is amazingly is um, our live events, right? And so, oh, my shirt, uh, brokers with beards are the best. Comes from loantees.com. Yeah, check out loantees.com. It's where you get all your, you can up your mortgage swag. All right, so you, look at what's working, right? For us, live events are working. So I'm saying like, go all in on live events. Start hosting more of them. Start creating more value. You know, instead of just doing one live event at a title company now, start offering them into real estate offices where you'll come into a real estate office, teach a class, or you know, if you have a team, you know, you can have somebody on your team be able to take over that office and that kind of thing, right? And so just look at what's working for you and double down on what's already working. Okay, don't don't pull back and go too too afraid. You wanna you wanna double you wanna go in, right? On what's especially on what's working for you today. Okay. Now I'm usually I'm all about experimenting and trying new things. But what I'm saying is just look at your business and you can see, okay, you know what? My Monday cold calls, that work amazingly well. I'm going, I'm going to double down on that. Or my live events that I'm doing every Thursday are, are you know, I'm going to double down on live events and I'm going to start doing them twice a month instead of every month or three times a month instead of once a month, right? Uh, or my database events. Obviously right now, you know, you can't, there's some things obviously, I understand right now there's like this weird period of a couple of weeks but look at what's working for you, okay? If you're sending one database email per month and you get X amount of referrals, what would happen if you sent two emails per month or four emails per month, right? What would happen if you, um, instead of only calling your database once a year, what would happen if you called them twice a year, right? This kind of thing. That's what I mean in terms of doubling down, right? You really look at where your actual business is coming from and then doubling down on on that aspect of it, of, of what's actually occurring, not what we want to occur, what we think is occurring, but actually just looking at the numbers and doubling down. Now, here's kind of a little bonus tip, okay, is this is if you're creating any kind of content, okay, if you're creating any kind of content, and same thing that I'm gonna do with, uh, like this is the same thing that I'm gonna ultimately do with this video right here, right? And with these videos that I'm creating here on Facebook, okay, so I'm just gonna show you this, and this really comes from kind of like a Gary V style now his aspect is to create 100 pieces of content a day. I don't think that's realistic for 99.99% of people. It's just a crazy number, right? But there are things that you can do to maximize what you're already creating, okay? So for example, let's say you're creating a video, okay? So you have this video right here. It can be this video right here. I'll, this is exactly what I'm gonna do with this video when I'm done with this full series, okay? Is I'm gonna, you're gonna shoot a video, now you've, you've got this piece of content that exists, okay? Now that video can be put onto a Facebook page. So again, not a, you know, not that my, you know, I'm on my profile right now, but ultimately it's gonna go onto a business page. And then it can also go over to a YouTube channel, right? And now I can keyword this video over for YouTube for depending on what I want people to find it for. And now I'm gonna have pieces of content that exists on both, both of those sites. Now the other thing that you can do is you can you can take the long video you can take the long videos and you can create snippets right and short clips of your long video. So if you're creating, say for example, once a week you created a video. Let's call this Monday right here. Monday, you shoot a video. Okay, you make a video on Monday, and you're answering a common mortgage question or busting mortgage myths or answering common real estate questions or whatever your niche is, right? You're creating content that's not about you, it's, it's designed for the end user, right? Who's your ideal client and you create, you're creating content for that person, right? And you shoot that video on Monday, 
Now you upload that video to Facebook, you upload the video to YouTube, and now you have content existing on both of those, both of those platforms, okay? Now what we can do is, let's just say on Tuesday, okay? On Tuesday, we can write a blog post. Now, when you're making a blog post, I'm assuming, like, let me know if on your website, do you have the ability to write blog posts on your website? Or is that, is that not a capability that you have today? When you're creating a blog post on your website, you're gonna make it about the same content. It's gonna have a similar title as your YouTube video. And we're going after the same kind of phrase or keyword search or, you know, ideally, so there's just one thing that we're looking for people to find this blog post for, right? So we're gonna make a blog post you're gonna write some words, it needs to have at least about 300 words inside of your blog post. And then at the very bottom of the blog, you're gonna embed the YouTube video, okay? It's pretty simple. When you look at YouTube, there's a little button that says share and there's an embed code and you can take that code and you can, especially if you have a WordPress site or anything that's easy to blog on, just drop that video in. Sometimes all you need is the YouTube link and the website will do it for you, do everything else for you or YouTube will just give you the code, it's called an embed code, E-M-B-E-D, right? And you're gonna make a blog with the video. Now, when you're, when you're putting the video on your blog post, it's important, again, you wanna put it at the bottom. That way people have to scroll down, they have to spend more time on the page, all of that helps with, with Google showing them that your page is relevant to that search phrase, okay? Then ideally, they go down to the very bottom of the blog and now they're gonna, re they're gonna watch the video. Now they're sitting on your webpage for a few minutes. They're also consuming your YouTube content. Um, now, they've, if you have the pixels and everything on your website, now you can be retargeting th that person because they visited your website. If you have video, you know, if you have YouTube retargeting in place, now you can retarget that person because they watched your YouTube video and Google knows who they are from that aspect, right? So you've got, now you've got, retargeting going out in multiple places depending on which pixels that you have firing on your website. If you have Facebook and Google and something like ad roll or perfect audience where you can go and retarget across the whole internet, now you can literally be hitting those people everywhere they are, right? So now you've got the blog post on Tuesday and what you're gonna do is you're gonna share, you're gonna share that blog post link out onto your Facebook page, okay? All right, so what you can also do is you can put the blog post link above the video. So if you already have the video on Facebook, just go back, edit the post on your Facebook page and, and just add the blog post link there. And now you can take either one of these, either the link that you just put on your Facebook page or the one that has the video and you could run that as a Facebook ad if you want to. You could be able to get more people to watch the video. You can be able to drive traffic over to your website, which is important in the beginning whenever the blog first goes out, and you can be able to have content that's out there in your local market um, on Facebook keeping you relevant as well, okay? Now, what do you do? So on Wednesday, what you could do is, on Wednesday, you could go over to LinkedIn, and what's cool on LinkedIn is that you can create, you can create blogs there as well, or I think they call them articles, right? So on Wednesday, you're going to create a LinkedIn article, all right? Now, when you're making your LinkedIn article, you don't actually have to include all the content, all the information. You can just base it off of like a snippet of your blog. So put maybe the first paragraph or two paragraphs of the blog, and then just put a link to the blog post itself. So now somebody's gonna see it on LinkedIn. You have that piece of content on LinkedIn that people can watch, people can find. It's also searchable for Google. So if you're keywording it, right now you've got content there. And so really we're just, we're just leveraging that one piece of content into all these different places, right? Okay, now on Thursday, hopefully you guys are still seeing that. Yeah, that looks good, right? Okay, on Thursday, uh, you're gonna email it, okay? So you're gonna take the same blog post that you have on your website that has the YouTube video. Now you're gonna email it out to your list and we're gonna try to drive traffic that way, all right? So just put a simple email, I'm assuming you're already emailing your list once a week, so you could attach this to that weekly email. Or if you're not emailing them every week, now this can be the email, right? This could be a piece of content that you're able to send out to your, to your list uh, once a week to your database and continue to stay relevant there. And also you're pulling people back into your retargeting every time, you know, because if they're coming back to your website, now they're firing back those pixels. And if you have, assuming you have easy, you know, some simple retargeting in place, 
you're going to be firing those pixels back off where you're cap capturing them again. Okay, then, you know, that's pretty much that's pretty much the things that you can do right there. I mean, obviously, like on Friday, there's some other platforms. So, you know, you could do like I Instagram, Twitter, right? You've got also uh, your personal Facebook profile. So you could be creating some more links. You can be looking at all your other social profiles. How can you put this same piece of content out? All you're doing, you're just leveraging that one that one piece of content, you know? And all this is coming off of like a 20 minute video that you can shoot every single Monday. And then you can take that video and you can push it out to all these different platforms and create different pieces of content off of that one video. So you're not gonna think of stuff every single day. And then just imagine the amount of content if you actually committed to this process for any amount of time, how much content you could be having online so that people can find you, right? This isn't gonna be, this particular strategy isn't gonna be like overnight, it's gonna double your business, right? But long term, what happens is that people cannot compete with a content and with branding long term, right? People can compete short term because I can outspend you on paid ads or this kind of thing. But long term, you can't compete with what this what this kind of process does. So that's a little quick. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it took five minutes, but that's a little bonus tip right there. In terms of if you're creating any content, how can you be leveraging that piece of content out everywhere that you can get it?